So in this final video on I.O. setup, uh, I'm just going to mention default output bus. Um, that's also on the output tab of I.O. setup. Um, just underneath audition paths, you'll see default output bus. Now, normally that would be analog one and two. But if you click on that drop down menu, you can change the output bus for both, in this case, mono and stereo audio tracks to be a different output bus. So let's go for I don't know, analog five and six for mono tracks. Click OK. Let's create a new mono audio track. And you'll see that its output is analog five and six.